Artistic Gamer 7 and welcome back to another Create a Sim here on the channel. Obviously some more of the Among Us Create a Sim as well as a little guessing game for you all. Today we are creating the color grey, which is one of the more suggested colors and not one of the colors actually in the game, but as I have mentioned before, I decided to do some of those suggested colors because I got to create more sims and got to use other colors. So of course I wanted to do some more extras. But anyway, if you have not seen the previous ones, there is a link down in the description below to the playlist, as well as at the end of the video, if you want to go ahead and watch this one through, you can. And there's a link to the playlist at the end of the video as well. But if you haven't watched it, you sort of have an idea of what's going on. But as a recap for anyone who particularly hasn't watched it or may need a little refresher. So I am creating in my head an idea of what the little Among Us characters could look like without their suits, but in Sims. Obviously the actual Among Us characters look nothing like actual human beings. So this is obviously just playing around with Sims. <laughs> so obviously it's keeping the color of their feet. Like the theme of their color. I said that backwards. <laughs> um, so, you know, gray here is going to have a lot of gray with her and orange is going to have a lot of orange. Red had a lot of red. So on and so forth. But there's also a little guessing game for you all. So basically I had, I had made three will decides and basically one will decide decided the order of the colors. So it would, I would spin the wheel, it land on a color, that was the next color I was making and I would move it off the list and spin it again. <laughs> so that decided the order. One wheel decided the gender, whether it was going to be male, female, trans male, or trans female. And then the other wheel decided whether or not they were going to be crewmate or imposter. There are four imposters out of 18 sims. So you get to try to guess along, try to figure it out, deduce some of the clues I have without trying to make them incredibly obvious, but still giving clues that if you pay attention, you could realize who is and isn't imposter. So who is an imposter, who is crewmate. So that is sort of the little game that y'all get to play, trying to figure out which four are the imposters. Pink is the last one, the last video that will come out before I do a reveal video, which I'm going to do a reveal video. It's, I think it's like seven, eight minutes long. I've already made it. <laughs> um, that will reveal who the actual four imposters were. So definitely make your final guesses on Pink's Kratosim. I will try to, I, I will have the minimum of four days apart from Pink's video to the reveal video so that there's some time for people to watch Pink's video and like watch some of the other ones and make their final guesses. But make your like final guess on Pink's so that I know that you didn't cheat <laughs> and we'll just wait for the reveal video. Once the reveal video is out, I mean, you could still comment if you want, but I'm not going to count it as a true guess, a true actual right guess. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but there's no way to not know that you just didn't go watch that video. <laughs> but definitely I'm very intrigued to see if y'all can find it and pick apart my little clues and things that I've left for you all to try to actually figure out who is crewmate or imposter. But here... We're gonna focus on just the regular creator sim as of right now, which is gray here. I actually really, really love how she turned out and the poses I have her in. I think I love her poses the most, except for there was one time I used a pose pack for her that just did the all in one and I slightly moved the camera in between them. And sometimes I move it before they pose because I'm trying to get different angles of the different poses to see which angle I like. And then I just hit the little play button and let their let them switch to the next pose and then I'll adjust accordingly. And I adjusted from one pose to get a different angle. She wasn't looking at me and then the very next pose it was like she completely turned directly towards the screen and was like looking at me through the screen. That was a little creepy. I'm not gonna lie but it was just funny oddly timing. It's happened a few times before when I've done um, screenshots but not very often so it still catches me off guard when it does happen and she was one of them that did it. It had been a while since I had just had them move directly look at me at the screen so <laughs> thanks thanks gray thanks for giving me a little freak out <laughs> but yeah she's definitely got a um, interesting dress sense it's sort of I'm really bad at knowing like types of dress sense but you know it's got sort of that comfy vibe but also stylish vibe in my opinion and I really like it I love these pants 
in all honesty. And I think she just seems like she's very, very chill and cool, but she still has her life organized enough. Like, she knows what she's doing. She knows what her, what her like, future plans are, her goals, her aspirations. She's, she's got it together, but she, she gives it the chill appearance vibe that she's like, eh, I'm fine either way, but I know what I'm doing, but at the same time, I'm not going to stress about it. I wish I didn't have to stress about a lot of things. That'd be great. <laughs> Real great. I hate stress. Now, I will say the one thing I struggle the most with gray here is because with the color, extra colors that I chose, it's from one picture that I've seen floating around a whole lot more than any of the other suggested ones. I've even heard people talk about some of them maybe even originally be suggested by the devs of Among Us. I am not 100% sure this is just what I've seen floating around. So considering it was the photos that I was most familiar with and a few of the colors I actually thought would be really fun to try, I did it and it was like all one post so I can easily see them all there together and have them for comparison for each other. The thing is, there is obviously white and black actually in the game. So having gray is fine because it's like in between, but then there's also silver that they've added in this extra one. <laughs> so trying to make sure all four of these didn't blend too well together, and like if you set them all four together, you can tell it's a gradient going from white to black basically, because the way silver looks obviously, it doesn't look like actual metallic in, in the picture, and if it was in the game, it probably wouldn't look like shiny metallic either. So. I did try to give some of those shiny metallics to silver when silver comes across, but obviously at the same time, considering in the game, if it was in the game, it wouldn't be that metallic. I, I didn't try to go too metallic. So trying to make sure that those ones all were differentiated and you could tell them apart. But, so, you know, that was the one thing. But I absolutely love Grey. She's probably one of my favorite ones, and I hope you like how she turned out, too. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, and definitely feel free to talk about who you think potentially is the imposter. Get guesses flowing, bounce ideas off of each other if you want to, and all that stuff. Hope you enjoyed the video, and look forward to the next one. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it, and I'll hopefully see you then. Bye-bye!